Big talker tonight, this petition on change.org circulating online on the fate of Jennifer Fichter. She's the Polk County teacher sentenced to 22 years for having sex with three students. Now, the fight for her freedom is intensifying with a new wave of support coming from a place you wouldn't expect. Nearly a week after former Polk County teacher Jennifer Fichter was sentenced to 22 years behind bars, there's a huge show of support across the Atlantic Ocean. Would you believe thousands of people in Russia are rallying behind the ex-teacher, saying her sentence is too harsh? Criminal defense attorney Jeff Brown agrees. Am I saying that she shouldn't perhaps do some time for this? Uh, of course she should. But 22 years, I, I just am with those people that say he's 17 years old. I'm not necessarily agreeing that he's a victim. Brown says when it comes to pay, men and women should be treated equally. But for other things, no. I, along with a lot of others, feel that there is a difference between uh, a man having sex with a 17-year-old girl and a woman having sex with a 17-year-old boy. But licensed psychologist Wendy Rice disagrees, saying the law should be blind to a person's gender. We have to keep in mind that children are children and adults are adults, and that whether it's a you know, male, female, female, male I do. relationship, teachers can't have sex with their students. Rice believes penalties should be the same regardless of gender. It's never okay for an adult to victimize a child in any way, shape, or form. And if you've been victimized by a teacher or a pastor or any adult, you've got to tell somebody and there should be consequences for the person who took advantage of you. And Brown says in most cases like this, people usually get a 10-year sentence. Victor's sentence is double that, and he doesn't think that's appropriate. Wendy?